Hello and welcome to Sadie Spincraft and I'm Sadie, this is my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. Wow, I don't think I've done this many videos in a row ever. I'm not sure I'm going to do it for 30 days or I might stop Christmas Day, give you one last hurrah Christmas Day, we'll see, not sure yet. Um, cause yeah, wow, I don't do enough to do a daily vlog or I don't feel like I do, but then you never know. I've got a few things to show you. So we'll start with the yarns that you have seen, but with the labels on now. So this is the blaze and you get... 199 I am shocked at this because when I worked it out we're like what seriously I've done that it's never happened before but you have 100 grams in each and 199 meters in each which is 200 no oh I've done that wrong way around Right, you got 182 metres and 199 yards. Like, what? In exactly the same in each one. That just never happens. So in total, it's 364 metres or 398 yards. What? Look. That is wrong. That's not metres. That's the metres. And that's the yards. This is what happens when Sadie does stuff. <laughs> I get a bit confused. So yeah, I was shocked with that. And then the, what have I called this, Shades of Grey. You've got 165 metres or 181 yards. And that's a woolen spun. Done with... Merino roving. Look at that. And then you get your free stitch marker. This one's a sewing machine. Ah, oh. what's that one? Oh, a pair of scissors. Look, a pair of scissors. Aren't they cute? They don't actually work. It'd be cool if they did. No, they don't actually work. And then. The, I've called this one Mix It Up because it really is just a mix of pinks, purples, orange, yellow and red. And this one is 190 metres or 208 yards and it's a merino roving again so it's a woolen spun. So it's not as soft but it's still, it's still... I could wear it next to skin. Some people couldn't because they've obviously got softer skin than me. I'm just not very sensitive. We'll go with skin wise. I'm not very sensitive. Oh, look. And I can't even hold that straight. Let's hold it still. It's a little safety pin. So yeah, there's that one. And then there's the damson. Which, come on, get on. This is 139 metres or 153 yards. And this is a super fine merino, so this is really soft and drapey. Oh, it's beautiful. Really soft. And it is a two ply. Most of my yarns are a two ply. And we've got a clothes hanger on that one. Look, it's so cute. And last but not least is the raspberry. Two ply again, and this is a super fair merino. And we've got 160 meters on this one, and 175 yards. They all weigh 100 grams, and you've got I love sewing on that one. So that's cute. So yeah, that's the yarns finished. They will be going up on Etsy tomorrow if I remember if I get round to it because I've got shopping to do tomorrow 
food, glorious food. That is what I'm after. Cause my cupboards are bare. Cause the kids are monsters. <laughs> so yeah, that's the yarn acquisition. <laughs> I don't even know if that means anything, but yeah. Um, today I've done another hat which I'm going to put this pom-pom on top. Let's give it a fluff. <laughs> so that'll go on top of there. I was, see it does look better. I was going to do that one, but I kept going. It, no. See. No, I think the brown one is the one to go into it. Not the grey. <coughs> so that one needs finishing. The This one is finished. So get it on. I know I've got my hair up, but isn't that cute? It got it so nice. So there we go. And you can have it coming forward if you wanted. Santa's little helper. Um, <laughs> I've lost plot. I've done too many. I've been playing with the panel bit on my knitting machine. So the panel, instead of tubular, instead of going round and round and round and round and round, I've been playing. But first I played with, come here, I, I haven't cut it because I will reuse it. The rib stitch, look at that. Although can see where I went wrong and that you can see on inside where I missed a stitch because it goes across oh, sorry I don't know if you can see that because my hands in where but I missed a stitch there when I was crocheting back up so yeah that's the rib stitch that I've learnt and my first attempt at the panel but I wasn't sure so I thought oh well I'll try it smaller so that's the panel you can see where I need to keep my stitches a bit tighter or maybe that's where I had a, a, a stitch catch so it was a tucked stitch not a drop stitch so then I thought, oh, well, I'll try it smaller. It might be a bit easier to practice with. Look at that, isn't it cute? It's just a little eight by eight, and it's like turned into a tube right now, but it's about that wide. And that is so cute. So I'm wondering if I can make a jumper mm -mm -mm, on that for a kid. So I'm going to buy some yarn. And test it out and see if I can't make a little baby jumper or something. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? And I thought I'd show you what I've been doing for Chris. So I got some circular knitting needles. Let's turn it right way around because obviously I knit left or right handed, but I'm making him. <laughs> It's like a scarf, well it's not, it's a, a cowl, scarf cowl thing and I've decided to call it because he scowls a lot. It's going to be Chris's scowl. <laughs> and this is it, it's a lovely, it's going through this lovely blues into the greys and it'll go back to the blue. There's 152 stitches in a round there. And I've been doing it a while. I've been doing it for about a month. Only a few rows a night, mind, but yeah. <laughs> this is going to be Christopher's scowl. Because, <laughs> yeah. 
Man skal jo gøre det. Så skal jeg. I'm gonna show up. I think I need to go to bed. <laughs> so that's the end of that. And I am going to try knitting these together on the knitting machine and just see how it turns out. I'm in the mood for playing. So I'll show you that tomorrow. If. If it turns out. So, thank you all so much for watching. It is now time for coffee. Time for a bath. And to go to bed. I need an early night. Have you not seen this? I mean... I'm 37 and right now I'd say I look to my 40s. Oh, I'm so tired. But, doesn't matter. It's that time of year. I usually get a bit hibernatory and emotional this time of year just because I don't like Christmas. Not the way everybody else does. I try, I really try. I tried to enjoy it for kids and I tried to enjoy it for everyone else. But it doesn't do it for me. I'd rather have summer or spring and have Easter. I mean, I do like snow. Snow's nice. It's pretty to look at. I like to stand on it first and then that's it. It can disappear for all I care. <laughs> So anyway, as I was saying, thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you all to have a fantastic time doing what you love doing. If you are new to the channel, hi and welcome and goodbye. If you're my regulars, hi darlings and goodbye. And... If you haven't subscribed yet, I suggest you do press that subscribe button and hit that notification bell because you get times like this where I just rant and talk rubbish and just don't make sense. It's great fun. So I'll see you all again tomorrow. Have fun. Bye.